Hey, happy Sunday. I hope you've been having a restful weekend. And some of you are getting ready to no longer need to shelter in place, um, although you may still choose to be at home. But I know that restriction is being lifted in some states um, on Monday. So I wanted to join you today and talk about the fourth part of our five-part vision to love a million women toward Jesus by 2025. The core of this vision is really around what does it take to raise up more workers for the harvest, to see more women reconciled to God through Jesus Christ by raising up more reconcilers. And so we've talked in the previous sessions about, um, number one, this is all built around and guided by the presence of God, especially through prayer. Number two, we see that women need to be inspired. They need to see that God has a purpose for them in Christ and the power to carry that out. The next part of what we saw is that women needed to be encircled. They need to be brought into a community of like-minded women who want to see the gospel advanced and who will go with them to love others toward Jesus. And today we get to number four, which is really hard to do with your fingers, so how about that? Number four of five, and that is that women need to be equipped in order to be raised up as reconcilers of the gospel. So, reconcilers um, for God. So, I am in a place of equipping. This is my um, home office. And these days, this is where I join in a whole lot of meetings with other women who um, uh, we're equipping each other. I'm often equipped by others, and sometimes I get to be an equipper. And we're going to be looking today at a scriptural basis for equipping. So um, I love what I see in the relationship between Paul and Timothy. So I chose two guys, but they're also uh, certainly equipping of women that happen, woman to woman. So in uh, 2 Timothy 2.2, 2, we see this pattern, the... Um, uh, I'll, I'll do two, one, and two, two. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, entrust to reliable men who will also be qualified to teach others. So we see in this passage a pattern that um, is often used to equip others. It's this idea of First of all, I do it, you watch, which is what Paul did with Timothy. And then the second is, let's do it together. Let's share the gospel together. Let's love others toward Jesus together. And then the third step is you do it, and I will watch and support. And then there's this fourth part of it, which is you go out and multiply. Now you raise up other leaders. And when we learned from you, over 3,000 of you last year, what brought you in as a person who wants to love others toward Jesus? What helped you be ready to do that? We saw this stage called equip, and the same thing happened with you as what happened with Paul and Timothy, which is a leader walked alongside you and said, let's go together, let's share the gospel. I'm gonna show you how you watch, and now I'm gonna challenge you to do it, and, and um, I'm gonna watch, and then finally, I'm gonna challenge you to go bring someone else along. So that's equip, and that is a core part of our five-part vision of how we want to see so many women. Our goal right now is 100,000 women raised up to make a commitment to love others toward Jesus Christ so that we might see a million women reached in the next five years. Now, you may say 100,000 is a lot, but I want you to know you're receiving this email as one of tens of thousands of women who are seeing this today too. So it's not impossible. It's just a matter of asking, who is your Paul? Who maybe can you lean into and be equipped by? But I'd also ask, who is your Timothy? Who can you come alongside and help them grow in courage and in practical ways to help uh, love women toward Jesus around you this week? All right, we'll be um, posting on Facebook this week several of my fabulous Team members will be joining with me and we'll be meditating in our 1110 moments on what does it mean to be equipped as well as to be equippers so that women can be loved toward Jesus. Have a fabulous week. Join us on the Facebook group. It's just plain old Stonecroft. And, uh, and also join us for the rhythms. That's a great way to be equipped. The rhythms are Monday, we start a new Bible study. This one's called Enough. Wednesday, we have times of prayer together and Friday, you have a chance to learn about how to grow in loving others toward Christ right where you are today. And feel free to invite others you meet to these as well. That's a great way to raise up more Timothys as well. Have a great week. Bye.